So I want to take a look at just a few plays from Killian Hayes on Tuesday night against the Washington Wizards. And this one was maybe the best play he had of the night. Gets a switch, gets a mismatch, loves it. He squares the defender up, and then he's going to give him the little hezzy. And then the one-foot takeoff, great body control going to his right, finishing with his left. I just love this right here. Right here, the little hezzy brings the hand to the ball like he's going to go into his jumper. And then the explosion to get right past the defender as he rises up. And then again, body control. That's not an easy shot going to your right finishing with your left hand with the little floater. Now this one may be even more impressive as here he plays through the contact of the on-ball defender and the help defender gets two hands on the ball. And I think this is just a testament to Killian Hayes and the strength that he has added to his game here in his second year in the NBA. That was a nice finish playing through contact. And then not that Kelly Olenek is a guy that's here long term, but just seeing Killian Hayes create some chemistry with a ball screen teammate and this type of archetype, which you hope he is, has the ability to play with his entire career, a guy that can pick and pop. And then on the next clip, a guy that can pick and roll. So I just want to see as Killian Hayes finishes out these 20 games of the season, how does the chemistry look with a Kelly Olenek, who we haven't always seen good chemistry with? How does it look with a guy like Marvin Bagley III? Even if it's not those guys, what kind of chemistry is he able to develop and how can he look in ball screen situations with guys who he have archetypes that hopefully he'll always get to play with and then a really nice defensive play and I think something that we don't give enough credit for is the type of athlete he is I realize Corey Kispert isn't the best athlete putting pressure on the rim but a nice block from Killian Hayes there and I just think that's something we've seen even with him attacking the rim at times as he's obviously a defensive disruptor as well and gets the block the one play I want to kind of highlight here and maybe the negative in the third quarter 16 seconds 13 on the shot clock I realize it was talked about some confusion between Hayes and Olenek here my only thing is I don't like how early he shoots this. I don't even hate the James Harden step back. I don't love that his foot's on the line. He took another three with his foot on the line. I just don't like it with seven seconds left. I don't. I know he hasn't been successful with this shot. I'm fine if he's like feeling himself and has some confidence, but I would have liked to have seen him take it with less time on the shot clock as this gave the Wizards a chance to go the other end and they actually got two attempts 